Hi. I think I'm live. If I'm not live, I'm almost. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me check my pulse. Yeah, there's a pulse. So I guess I'm live. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm glad you guys are out there. And, uh, well, you're not out there quite yet, but you will be shortly. I know you will. Um, just wanted to show off. Well, I'll wait until some people show up. I can fix this guy in the meantime. This is one that I did last night for some dumb reason. I didn't do the leg too well. So I've got to... Do quick touch up. Hello, glad to see you there. This is one that I did yesterday, and for some dumb reason, it must have been the way. The ca I've got to stop. I don't know what it is. It's. I think it has something to do with the way the camera is in front of me or something. I got to make sure I do good welds all the way through these. And the leg just snapped right off, and it's like, oh please. So let's try to fix him real quick. Warm him in. Got two people watching. Glad to see you're there. back there hey Kevin hey Katie you had to tell him didn't you I know you told him it's all your fault Katie that he showed up having a great time until he showed up look <laughs> I had to tell him guy that can't even bring his wife a chocolate bar what's the matter with him he's going whoops or I know you're going whoops now Katie I know you are sorry about that hi Tyler good to see you out there We're getting there. This time I'm going to make sure that leg is on there. That's one of those dichro pieces that I did yesterday. Looking really good otherwise. While I'm at it and I warmed him up, I think I'm going to try to touch up this leg a little bit. Make sure there's no chance of it jumping off anytime soon. You as well, buddy. Thanks. Um, right now, like I said, I'm working on these. Uh, this lizard. Uh, he is a, a dichro lizard that I did yesterday, and it, uh, I went to check to make sure all the welds were good, and sure enough, that leg just boink, right off, and it was like ah, frustration, frustration happening there. The thing is, the camera has a closer view of what I'm doing than I do. And I think I need to come up with a different angle for that camera so that I don't have to worry about it uh, so I can get my face right where I want it to be instead of a couple of inches further back. That, if that makes any sense. when I'm working there we go now I'm going to do and you'll have to bear with me a little I'm going to do a couple of animals right in a row clear because I want to 
and I need to make a couple of these so that there's a guy that actually I'm going to use some eight or nine let me see I have some over here hold on scoop the chair over grab a few rods wrap the newspaper so they should be fairly clean but I will take the uh what do you suppose a turtle would look like with dichro and opal glass? Uh, very sparkly. Chunky sparkly and and, and uh, glittery sparkly. If that makes any sense. Well, no. If you do it just right with the with the uh, um, with the opal, you can get some nice nice sparkly almost like the dichro effect i could show you that in a minute or two but not right now indigestion okay we're gonna do actually we're gonna first do i did one the other night and i'm gonna do it a little bit closer view well let's do a cat he asked for several things, a cat, a frog, a dog, um, several things. I actually talked to him in person tonight, not not in person, but on online, face-to-face, uh, -face, which was pretty cool. He's uh, an up-and-coming, never started yet, but wants to, has a very uh, sculpting mind already. He's done... Um, ceramics and stuff like that so this will be a I told him having done three-dimensional objects before will help him in his endeavors in glass knowing that you know it's got to stand it's got to um, have some move uh, flowing move moment movement to it or whatever okay I'm gonna do the frog it's a fairly simple one and it's a matter of first rounding a ball for the main body. Hi, Sean. Good to see you. I look at your little uh, 3D created or 3D printed animals or, or, or uh, mold injected figurines all the time. I, I, I'm intrigued. I, I have to admit it's a it's a great little thing you have there, Sean. Okay, we got a round ball, and that's going to be the body to the frog. And now, we're going to put what I call a cold weld on his butt area. And that's where this is a little colder than this, and it's somewhere where it will come off later at that same spot. Okay. Now I'm going to go up just about, I'd say, a little over an eighth of an inch. And put a nice another round ball. Then I'll come up and take a pair of tweezers. And pinch. And that makes the head to the frog with me so far. Okay, now the legs. We're going to put four legs on it. And there's two types of legs that I have done in frogs, but I'm going to do the my older style because it'll be a little easier to do for a beginner. First, you heat and seal one leg on. Heat it up a little bit and pull it away. That's one leg. Then you heat up another one. Let it cool a little bit. Pull it away. That's two. Now the back front legs I do, do sort of like that straight line that you see. The back legs, give me a second. Uh, 
my elbow rest fell. I'm so used to it being more positioned in a different location, but we'll get there. The back legs, I usually do what I call an L bin, the older style anyway. And that's basically you heat and make sure you're putting it orange to orange, touching it to, letting it flow, and pulling it away just like you did before, but letting it cool a little bit, and then going down a little bit and pulling it in another direction. And that's what I call the L bin type leg. Oops. The L bin type leg because again, you're looking at an L bend. Now we're going to do another one on the other side of the frog. Now when I just started, I didn't worry about toes or anything like that. And that was my frog. I mean, I, I actually put eyes on it too. Give me a sec. And I'm going to put green eyes on this guy since I have some green color sitting right here. You're almost pulling a crooked stringer. Yeah, in a sense. But it's controlled, so it's not really... Same idea, Kevin. Same idea. Here's the eyes. Now this is the way I usually did my frogs for a long while. And again, that gets your image of a frog to anybody who really looks at it. Then, when you get a little bit more detailed, you can just go ahead and put some toes and that's a matter of just touching too. Pulling away in one spot and curving around where you're not melting the feet toe that you just put on there. Heating up next to it and touching and pulling away again. Otherwise, you'll have a melted green blob on the end if you don't uh, make sure you keep it out of the flame. It takes practice. That's why I say that at first just leave the toes off and you're fine. But if you want to keep, if you want to challenge, you can try to do the toes. There we go. There. One more set to go. Also again, making sure you're heating up where you're putting the, the glass at makes a difference. Hey Lorraine, glad to see you show up. Just finished making a frog. I'm also going to do a dolphin right now. Very simple. And I know I put green on here. I was told you I was going to do nothing but clear, but I decided to use a little bit of color. If you got it, use it. You don't have to use it heavy if you don't want to, because it's usually the more expensive rods by a long shot. Tap that off. Oh, I should have... Oh, that was not good! Tapped right into my... No. Didn't burn anything. Uh, singed my pants. <laughs> Didn't burn anything. I'm okay. You know how it smells like when the iron left was left in one spot a little bit too long? That's what it smells like. And there we go. One frog. Done deal. Now, next I said I was going to do a dolphin. Dolphins are fairly easy. If you can do a teardrop or, or a banana shape. And I talk about in a lot of my glass blowing of making or, or having an alphabet of shapes in your mind. And once you learn those alphabet of shapes, 
You'll be doing them over and over and over again in different animals, in different spots. So that is one thing you gotta learn. And in this case, you sort of got a banana shape going on. And actually, let me point that in this direction like so. There we go. Sort of banana shape, right? Right. Yeah, I know. Kevin, calm down. <laughs> now the dorsal fin is what I usually do about midway on the bend of the, uh, the banana shape at this point. And that's going to be positioning a few things where everything else goes from there. Okay. After this one, I think I'm going to make a shark as well. Why? Because I can. And I've had a request for one. Okay. Then I usually put in either the fins or these um, front fins is what I, the, the, the tail fin or the front fins. In this case, I'm going to do the front fins. Now there's two ways that you can put fins on things, even the dorsal fin. The way I'm doing it, which is called the fold and pull method. I pull it out, fold it over a little bit, pull it out, fold it over a little bit. And if you can control that, you can make ears, wings, fins, a little bit of everything. I'm gonna lay down, but I can still hear you on Kevin's phone. <laughs> yeah, he's usually got it up a little loud. <laughs> Would you consider three man managers? <laughs> what, you have somebody else in mind? Okay, now this is the other way you can do it. I'm going to do it on both sides here. You put a blob, like so. And you put it on both sides, of course. Make sure they're close to be even, that's fine. Okay? As you can see, if I'd have been doing the fold and pull method, I'd already be done. But if you're not really good at the fold and pull, you make the blob, you pinch it out, just like I just did. Both sides. You gotta make sure when you're pinching that it's that pink color or that orange color. You're, you're not trying to, gotta do it within the, um, the time allotted the glass and that gives you a little idea of another way to make fins wings whatever you want to do it does give a different uh, texture to it like that as you can see <sighs> now the front end of this guy I'm gonna put a cold seal or cold weld right here at the tip of the dorsal fin and gonna go in with it pull it over round it off inside I call that the DQ swirl I'll try to demo a lot of these techniques to help people along the way I need to do another um, I guess you could say another video on glass blowing hacks again now that you can really see what I'm doing they might it might be even might go over even better than the other one I have but you can't see everything that goes on oh let's give it blue eyes and with the eyes I usually put one if you don't if you can't really do the eyes well don't worry about it People will imagine the eyes. But if you can put the eyes on it, they look for eyes. They always do. The eyes are the windows to the soul in any animal or figurine that you do. But again, if you have problems making sure that the eyes are going to look good, don't put them on there. And uh, it'll be okay. 
Don't feel like you're, you're, you're screwing up, not putting on eyes. Okay? And we have a dolphin. Next, I said a shark. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to. Had to had to sing it, but I did it anyway. Next, we're going to go and do the shark, and the shark is basically a little bit of what you just learned on the on the dolphin but you do a double set of dorsal fins and a double set of back fins uh, another set of a back fins besides the tail fin and the tail fin goes point up and down instead of side to side and usually with the shark I go ahead and make a nice round ball like so touch it together thanks Lynn Okay, touch it together, and then I'm just going to pull this out into an elongated shape. It's basically a banana without a, a curve to it. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. Because <laughs> you're making a fish. And there you go. You got one fish. And you can see that you've got more of a curved edge on this one and more of a flat edge. And the flat edge is actually going to be the top. The curved edge is going to be the bottom. That's just the way I ca it came out with me, but it, it comes with practice. And even if you have curves on both sides, it won't matter. And as you can see, it looks like uh, elongated uh, candle flame or something like that. That's what you're basically looking for. And, 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 and. We're going to go ahead and do the dorsal fin again with the fold and pull method. There we go. And the next dorsal fin, the same idea, fold and pull, and it's smaller. That's just the way Sharks are. You've got one set of fins and then you got a totally another set of fins that's a little bit shorter and smaller. Now the front fins. Same idea that I did with the dolphin. Fold and pull. And there we go. Can you demonstrate how to do an orca? No. <laughs> I'll see about it. Considering I have one handy here, I can probably get the image down. It's because of my dyslexia and it's black and white. I forget where to put the black and where to put the white. But I think I can handle it. Having pictures in front of me do does help. <laughs> Again, the back, smaller fins. Touch and pull. Fold and pull. I'm sorry, I, I, I call, never mind. Never mind, we get the hint. Right, right. Hmm. I am going to have to work on this. My elbow. I'm not used to the angle and I broke my my arm prop that I have been using. I need to see if I can't get somebody to fabricate something to make it work. I might even just take some of the parts and make something out of two by four, I think. Or now that I understand the principle, make it out of two by four or several two by fours. And there we go. This is the back tail. Now all we got to do is the front. Now usually, I didn't do it this time, but I'm going to do it right now to 
sort of like exaggerate it a little bit. And of course, the tail would be a little bit longer, but usually the top point to the tail is longer than the bottom point to the tail. <coughs> yeah. And cold seal, wait for it, and touch. Now we can work on the front. I gotta switch them around, sorry guys. Oops, came off, but that's okay. Nothing terrible. Stay. Now to just put some eyes on this thing. And this one's done, and the front. No, I don't put the teeth in. Sue me, go ahead. You could sit there day after day doing tiny detail on every little piece, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong there. And make so much of an hour at it. Or make something really quick and make something an hour makes three or four of them and make a little bit more an hour <laughs> instead of only one now the eyes I'm gonna do blue eyes why because I can now the eyes and then we have a shark Now, I'm going to try to break it off. Oh, yeah, it came off clean. Cool. When it tapped off earlier, it didn't come off too clean, but that's good. Okay. What it... Oh. One of the back dorsal fins is wonking it funny. There we go. Okay. Now, the orca. Just so happens. I have one sitting here. And I start out with a little bit of black or dark, 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 dark blue is basically the color that I use for the body itself, which is turbo cobalt. And the Chinese, I think has, it's called intense blue or something to that effect. So it's something that you can get fairly re easily gonna get a little louder maybe even a little bit of yeah that'll work it melt it down a little faster it's not gonna be very big and then after this one I debated on whether to come on tonight and I, I, I I needed to do it, I wanted to do it, but I, I've just had a big, long, rough day. Had to drive two hours, uh, an hour one way, so two hours basically to do, help a friend move some stuff around in their house and then drive back and uh, been the chauffeur duper, uh, or should I say the taxi service here at the house, making sure everybody got somewhere and done something. So now, I had a chance to calm down and relax and I could either come out here and show you guys something or go to sleep. Oh yeah, what a concept. Sleep. Never heard of it. <laughs> uh, now this might, oh this, this should do nice. Well, I say it and it's bubbly. Let's try to see if there's another one. Here's a white. Oh, yeah, this will do better, I think. Get a... Put it on to a... There we go. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's on my belly this time. Wow. Usually it's on the face somewhere where you 
And it's like, ah, wait, 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 ah! <laughs> okay. Now let's see. What did I do? It There it is. Okay, first of all, we're going to do the bottom half. And basically one nice long stripe. Might even put another stripe right next to it. Ah, of course it's going to do that to me. It's stressed off and snapped at a place that I didn't want it to. Can you do this? Okay, wait. Let's, did somebody say it, something here? No, I guess not. Never mind. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna round this in right here on the El Marver I've got on my table. Might even add a little bit more white to one side. Just well, yeah, right about there. Just a little. And I'm going to pull this out into a little uh, stringer because I'm going to need to make some stripes in certain spots. Not stripes, but spots in certain spots. Excuse me. A little bit longer. Let's do this. This is a very nice milky white quartz, uh, uh, milky white borosilicate glass that flows smoothly. I'd almost want to say it's from the North Star crowd, but I couldn't tell you which one it is. Mm -hmm. Another itch this time on my face. I had to say that, didn't I? Okay. too much but doable I think we want to want, want <laughs> white chocolate huh okay and I'm gonna have to do this with a paddle so I can see what I'm doing yeah, that's going to be better. Another itch on my face. Ah! been a while since I've done a orca. It's not a bad thing. Pull a little bit of that off. There they are, tweezers. Let's kick that down a notch. That's another thing. Do you fix the hairline crack in the bumblebee? No, I have not. I've been sort of busy. Not really busy. Well, that's one of the things I haven't been busy at, which was fixing the hairline crack in that guy. Yeah. Let that round in a little bit more. Now 
yeah, this is going to be the best orca I've ever done, I'll tell you that much, but it's going to look like an orca. Won't be a killer, well, but it'll be a killer. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> uh. Now another piece of black to do the dorsal. Tell me that's not the brown. Nope. Good. Yep, I'm definitely going to have to try to do something with a 2x4 or something to really make my elbow prop a lot better. That's what I get for... Yeah, I could make it better by mo trying to bend it, and it's not the best of armrests, to say the least. Pull it up, get it nice and pointy, and then sort of lump it over a little. Maybe not quite that big. took the memory foam from a couple of zip ties uh, with a couple of zip ties yeah um I actually uh, here see what happened was this is part of it I'll, I'll, I'll see if you can see it right here this is part of it right here like this but I was uh, trying to adjust it and one of the poles or, or pins that, that was in it it snapped right off at the pin, and it was like, ah! And I'm having to just make do. Thanks for the suggestions, though, Kevin. Keep them coming. Just like my ex-wife, she used to say I was full of it. And I said, yeah, I did, that is. <laughs> she didn't like that too much, but I did. Yeah. Now, let's try to see if we can work on the back end of this guy. It comes with time and practice shaping your pieces doing it over and over and over again making mistakes from time to time to really get a feel for what you can do with your glass now this is what I got to do as well. I got to make sort of like a half disc of black and half disc of white because the bottom of the tail is white and the top of the tail is black. So we're going to make a round enough for both top and bottom on this piece. So it's almost making a little marble. Could make a nice miniature Othello um, disc with this idea mm. to me that looks like the craziest part serving swer swerving the piece from the rod um, it's it's already broke a little bit it had a clamp that i tried to use for a little bit and, and both clamps broke within a week of me getting it and i didn't take it back because 
uh, that wasn't why I got it. I got it mainly for the swivel part, if that makes any dumb sense. And now it's even more. In other words, it's the way that the it's it doesn't look like it was m m forged metal. It looks like it was like a aluminum powder that they compressed metal. If that makes any dumb sense. And that made it weaker than it, it should. That should be enough for both both sides of the tail. Just round that in and then flatten it. Ah, itch again. You gotta learn not to scratch with to scratch an itch with what you what you got in your hand, especially if it's hot glass. There we go, I think this will work. Now I'm gonna put a Cold seal here on this side. Actually, let's do it the hard way. Um, break this off. Touch it there. Now flatten. There must be a lot of mosquitoes tonight if you're... No, no mosquitoes. Just uh, natural itches. It's sort of just... I, don't, I can't explain it to me. It, it, it happens all the time. Not it. it. It's like you got an itch on your leg or something or right before you go to bed type of itch where you... You have to scratch about four or five places and it helps you relax and go to sleep. And when I concentrate, it sort of somehow makes me itch, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's a bead of sweat that didn't quite make it as sweat and just came out to itch a little. go mm -hmm. you know what I forgot to put on there the bottom fins and I in a hoot I think they also have the let me look I forgot stupid me are they all black? Yeah, they're all black. Okay. No big deal. I can't believe I forgot that. He must have been yelling it loud enough, I heard. Where are the front fins? Where are the front fins? I heard. Thanks for being out there, guys. Actually, with the amount of vitamins and minerals I take, especially B-complex, and that's a good one for garlic's another one, but um, to uh, minimize uh, or a sort of a natural repellent that your body could produce with B-complex that, that mosquitoes don't bother you as much. Another one I take is fish oil. 
and you know if you dr wake up every morning with dry eye and that crud that you have to try to scrape out of your corner of your eye for like 20 minutes try taking fish oil for as a supplement and it really does I mean I don't blink as many times or, or you know when I have dry eye or something like that I can and even in the morning when I wake up I can just blink several times and the dryness is gone and I can go about my day and there we go just for you guys Kevin you help me produce and create I think I put the eyes in the wrong place, but that's okay. It's my orca. I can do with him as I want. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. And we got one orca. Let me show you those other three pieces that I did. And then I'm going to call it quits for the day. Um, I did need to... Me too. I need to really try to do that this weekend. Well, what do you know? Somehow as I dropped it, that one of the fins came off of the shark. But I will show them to you anyway. Here is the frog here is the shark with the broken fin but I can fix him really really quick at this size you can repair him practically just at a, at a wink and here's the dolphin so we will try to download this or upload it to uh, YouTube because I haven't done a video on YouTube in a very long while. Doesn't mean that I haven't been doing it over here, guys, and I do appreciate you being here live with me. Let's fix this guy real, real quick. I know what it is, why I got itches on my face. I shaved today. That's part of it, but then getting itches all over it just doesn't. You got to warm it in a little bit. Ah. Yeah, so you can see all of my stuff piled on the table, row after row. It's been a while since I set up at a, at a show, so setting up the week before even, yeah, will help me prepare for the show this weekend, that uh, the end of the 27th of this, this month at the Beaufort Restoration Grounds in Beaufort, North Carolina. Where am I located? I am located in, well, in Newport, North Carolina is where I'm located. And uh, I'm, I guess you could say, my parent, well, one of my parents was born right here in Moorhead area. So I'm a local yokel. Oops. I uh, took too much off. Yeah, it's the night. Of, it's part of the day. I'm starting to get a little. Uh, stay. Let's do this right. Get a cold seal here. 
That's why I don't use tweezers a lot of times. <laughs> there we go, that's that one. I'm gonna knock it out of the part, I promise. Thanks, Kev. I need it. I really do need the uh, encouragement. Like I say, I'm, I'm, sometimes I feel like I put on Eeyore Pasana too much. Hi, I'm here, come and buy my stuff. I'm really happy. <laughs> no, not quite like that, but inside that's what I feel like. But uh, I do try to make people happy and smile. Again, money is the, the secondary of what I do. Helping people have what I call that aha moment when they're trying to do something. All of a sudden, hi, Tony. Long time no hear or see from. Glad to see you're out there doing things. Tony used to be my, if I'm, it's, it's the same Tony Willis, used to be my in-law. Now she's just an outlaw. No. <laughs> yes. Actually, I gear my images to the five-year-old in all of us. So if you have a, a that little five-year-old kid that still likes to play and do things in real life, then you know where I get some of my inspiration from. And the five-year-old can come up to the table and say, Turtle, Mouse swan whale snail unicorn dolphin without going is this a frog or is it a dog or is it an elephant i can't tell that's not their deal the deal is that they they can it's an immediate response of what it is and i will work on this tomorrow i promise so as always carpe vitro and enjoy your day Thanks for being there, guys.